Hello and welcome back to their end up weather video. Today we are going to be wrapping up our coverage on major blockbuster even nor'easter winter storm Orlena. Now this storm is moving into the northeast today and we can see up to two feet of snow in spots, maybe even 36 inches, three feet of snow. But that's in some very small local areas. This storm is getting insane. It's ahead of schedule in parts of the Northeast. I was live streaming throughout the day yesterday, and we saw many things occur. I'm going to go over some of those in this video for those of you who didn't watch the live stream. But a lot of things happened, so let's go over those first. But first, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and, and hit the bell. Okay. Number one thing that happened yesterday, we saw winter storm warnings from D.C. to Maine. Now, we still have winter storm warnings from Philadelphia through Boston and up into Maine. Some of the winter storm warnings that were in Virginia, parts of Maryland, even Delaware, expired throughout the day yesterday. Now, we have to focus our eyes here on New York City. New York City is going to be at the center of the storm. They have the best chance out of any of the five five major cities of accumulating 18 plus inches of snow. They have one of the best chances to see two feet of snow, as well as some of the surrounding areas around there. Third thing that we have to know from yesterday, this storm got its start very early in parts of the Northeast. Areas such as Philadelphia, New York, and even into Boston started to receive snow last night and will be continuing to see snow throughout the day today and finally we have been seeing a pretty decent swath of snow from areas of iowa now into the northeast so far my predictions have been pretty accurate i'm not going to say they're 100 percent accurate but they've been you know pretty accurate not bad i mean not perfect either so let's move on to the new developments so we're gonna go to the nam for that so here is the nam we're gonna go through this hour by hour and track the northeast snow okay so let's go here to so this is about the time that you're watching this this is about an hour before this video will release this is 4 a.m Heaviest snow is from eastern Long Island to eastern Pennsylvania. We have some mixing precipitation in southeast Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, you have switched over to some freezing rain. Now, if we move about three hours um, forward, this is about 7 a.m. Heaviest snow is now in the New York City metro area. Now, Philadelphia, you have switched over to rain. The freezing rain is now in northern Delaware as well as Baltimore mixed precipitation is in parts of interior Maryland as well as southeast Pennsylvania and the back end here is starting to wither away low pressure is 996 millibars and moving to the north and east so low has now retrograded this is now pulling in some more arctic air this is at about 10 a.m. so we start to see Philadelphia switch back over to snow. New York, you're still in the thick of it. Moving on. This is probably where we start to see the worst of the snow. Heavy snow from central Pennsylvania out through into Cape Cod. Now that, that low pressure system is starting to get stronger, starting to bring up some more Atlantic, uh, Atlantic moisture. That means some warmer air. Now, Philadelphia, you're about to switch back over again. Oh, let's go back here. Hold up. There we go. Okay. So, after Philadelphia switches over again briefly, you're now back to all snow, Philly. So, heaviest snow is from still central Pennsylvania up into closer to the Boston region now. Now, you can see New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, the whole New York City metro has been in this pivot. This storm is now pivoting the heavy snow. It's gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. All right, 
continuing to see that pivot. Now this is at about... This is right around... Uh, let's see, that would be... 4 o'clock p.m. So, still seeing heavy snow from Pennsylvania to the Boston area. Kind of the same thing, but now we're starting to see a changeover in parts of Cape Cod and eastern Long Island, while some weaker snow bands move through New York. Heaviest snow is now from Boston through most of Connecticut. Now, southern upstate New York and Pennsylvania. Once again, we're seeing this kind of changeover. Now that includes Cape Cod, parts of Rhode Island, and now most of Long Island. Heaviest snow is from parts of Maine, down through Massachusetts, Connecticut, most of upstate New York, just not the very interior portions, and Pennsylvania. Now this continues to move up the coast. Heaviest snow is now from Maine to upstate New York. The back end here is now in southern Connecticut, parts of the New York City metro, as well as in Pennsylvania and further south and west of that. Now we start to see a kind of rebirth of this storm in the New York City metro area. Heaviest snow is still in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. But we see some lighter snow in Massachusetts, Connecticut, southern upstate New York, New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, and further south and west of that. Rain is still the primary type of precipitation out on eastern Long Island. Now we start to see this kind of just pivot again. So you get more additional snow totals in most of those areas until the storm finally moves out throughout the day, Wednesday into Thursday. So, snowfall totals. Let's get your updated snowfall totals here. All right. Here's your totals. Look at that. That is incredible. So, what does this mean? Heaviest snow is from Boston to central Pennsylvania. Now, the heaviest of the heavy snow is just to the north and west of New York. In areas of a little bit more upper elevation, not going to be seeing that switch over. But, New York, you're still going to see 18 to 24 inches. As well as southwestern Connecticut, mostly what? Western Connecticut in general is going to see 12 to 18. Parts of southern upstate New York will see between 12 and even 30 inches of snow. Now, northern New Jersey is kind of a hot spot for this. 30 inches of snow, as well as getting toward Philadelphia, 12 inches of snow. Now, northeast Pennsylvania will see probably the most out of the system. That's the 30 to 36 inch range but most of Pennsylvania will be staying in that 12 to 24 inch range. But that is all I have here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.